sasa tutupie jicho taarifa hii ya hatari ya kuangamia kwa twiga katika miaka usoni kutokana na ujangili. Bila shaka twiga ndiye mnyama mrefu zaidi anayeishi katika nchi kavu. Ametajwa kama mnyama mpole anayependa amani japo hapendi mzaha. Sifa zake bainifu ni miguu mirefu ambayo akichokozwa huitumia kama silaha. Kadhalika ngozi yake imepambwa kwa madoado ya rangi ya kahawia yaliyoambatanishwa na mabaka meusi na kutenganishwa na mistari mieupe kwa namna ya kipekee. Ni rahisi kumuona twiga kwa mbali kutokana na urefu wa shingo lake. Hata hivyo sasa mnyama huyu anakabiliwa na hatari ya kuangamia na kutoweka kabisa ulimwenguni iwapo hatua za dharura hazitachukuliwa kumlinda. The silent extinction which the giraffes are facing. There is very little national, regional or even global focus on the giraffes unlike species like the elephants and rhinos and nobody is talking about the threats the giraffes are facing tishio kuu kwa twiga ni kupungua kwa sehemu za malisho yake baada ya binadamu kuingilia sehemu hizo if you look at what's going on in different protected areas you know there's a lot of pressure on land and there's a lot of demand on land and their habitats so we that fragmentation of giraffe habitats you know makes them lose uh, their core areas uh, quality forage and that's you know really key Wataalamu wanasema uwepo wa twiga katika mbuga au sehemu yoyote husaidia sana ukuaji wa miti kwa kuwa yeye hula sehemu ya juu na kuipa miti hiyo nafasi ya kunawiri zaidi. Kadhalika wanapokula sehemu ya juu ambayo agalabu huwa na maua yaliyochanua husaidia kuhamisha mbegu za miti hiyo hadi maeneo mengine na hiyo kusaidia ukuaji wa miti katika maeneo tofauti. Kuna aina tatu za twiga wanaopatikana humu nchini Kenya. Kwanza kuna twiga Somalia anayefahamika kwa Kiingereza kama reticulated giraffe. Twiga huyu hapatikani kwenye mbuga ila hupatikana sana katika maeneo ya wazi kaskazini mwa nchi katika mashamba ya kijamii na kufikia sasa wamesalia takriban 1015 nchini. Aina ya pili ya twiga wanaopatikana nchini ni twiga Masai wanaofahamika kama Masai giraffe kwa kimombo. Hawa hupatikana kwenye mbuga kama vile mbuga ya Nairobi amboseli na Masai Mara hadi sasa wamebaki twiga 11700 wa aina hii nchini aina ya tatu ni twiga Baringo ambaye pia anafahamika kwa jina twiga Uganda ni maarufu zaidi kwa jina lake la Kiingereza Rothschild giraffe alilopewa karne iliyopita Rothschild lilikuwa jina la Mwingereza aliyemtambua twiga huyu ambaye ni familia ya twiga kaskazi yani Northern Giraffe Family Kufikia sasa wamesalia twiga 600 pekee wa aina hii humu nchini. Wakfu unaojihusisha na kulinda wanyamapori wanaokabiliwa na hatari ya kuangamia unafanya juu chini kuhakikisha twiga hawa hawatoweki kabisa ikizingatiwa kuwa wanapatikana nchini Kenya pekee. We are involved in breeding the Rothschilds and after every 2 to 3 years we translocate most of the young ones back to the wild so that we can be able to increase the population of these type of giraffes wanalenga kuhakikisha kuwa twiga hawa wanalindwa usiku na mchana katika mbuga ya Ruma wanapopatikana magharibi mwa nchi we need to create more space for these mega species so that our future generations might have a chance to see them twiga hawa wa Rothschild wamezileta jamii za Baringo pamoja hukuwa kazi wa kiunga mkono juhudi za kuwalinda kupitia hifadhi ya kijamii ya Ruko. When Ruko started in the year 2007, the conversation about how to start the conservancy, the community wanted to see something that could bond them as the Tulu Chamus and the Pokot community. So when they went back to their history and the cultural uh, background of where they came from, they realized that they used to have the giraffe in this landscape. So one of their obligation uh, or, or they decided to do as one of their number one objective apart from peace building was to bring back the Rothschild giraffe. So they went back to KWS and asked for permission to, to, to relocate the giraffe back home. So the KWS were very happy because this was the natural home for the, for the giraffe. Yeah.
the community were very determined because they saw even before we had the giraffe back here in their logo, in the conservancy logo, they put the Rothschild giraffe there as a symbol of peace with the women, the two women milking it such that this was a source of hope. It was something that is, was going to transform the community. Hata hivyo jitahada hizi za wakazi kwa tunza tuiga hawa zinatatizo na mafuriko ya naotokana na ziwa baringo kufunja kingo zake. Tuiga mmoja angali ya mekuamwa kwenye bonde hili baada ya njia yake kufunikwa na maji. Mabadiliko ya tabia nchi pia ya nahatarisha maisha ya tuiga. Chakula ya jirafu sasa imekua inaisakua ina kidogo. Asa tunajaribu kutavuta chakula ingine hii supplement kwa sababu kama hakuna chakula tutaisapote saa wanyama. Mwezi machi mwaka huu wa windaji haramu waliuwa tuiga wawili weupe katika hifadhi ya kijamii ya Ishakbini Hirola eneo la Ijara County ya Garissa. Walikuwa tuiga wa kipekee walioteka ulimwengu wote kutokana na ngozi yao nyeupe hali ambayo wataalamu wanaita leucism. Our law enforcement officers have been investigating what could have been the motive of killing, but there have been high level of insecurity in, this, in that part of the country. Ni dahiri hatua za darura zinahitajika kumlinda twiga kwani kutokana na upole wake wa windaji haramu humlenga sana. Daniel Mule, NTV.